So let's talk about what the most successful mentees that I have have done and what lessons we can learn from those. If you've followed me for a while, you've heard about mentees that uh, have done 45 plus deals in about four years. Another mentee that's done 25 deals in about three years. So what talents do they have? And there's certainly other mentees that I have that have uh, acquired businesses, but those two stand out at the top of the list in the time frame that they've done it and the number of deals that they've done. Both of them are now looking at exits in the tens, if not in one case, hundreds of millions of dollars in terms of the exit. Not bad for three and four years worth of work. So can't guarantee that for everybody, but I can tell you what they do that maybe you are not doing or those that don't succeed are not doing. First of all, they have a reason why it's important for them to do this. That's usually highly personal, usually beyond money. Two, they take action. They know the steps and they take action. All of them have a good self-image, self-esteem. Sometimes you need to work on that to get to that point. But they also have, in the, in the cases that I've just mentioned, good communication skills and good selling skills. And in the VIP Mastermind group that I do with my marketing director, we teach over two days, but we also end up doing role plays. And I have been amazed at those role plays on how poor the listening skills are, how poor the sales skills are. Not a big surprise between my marketing director and I, you could call them sell, sales skills. Both of us started in sales. I did that in corporate sales in the beginning of my career. He taught Fortune 500 companies how to sell. So between the two of us, about 80 years of experience. So I would hope that we know some things that people that are just starting this don't know. So we decided to do a business acquisition sales summit that is, as I record this, tomorrow. It's an all-day event. We're going to teach. We're going to do tons of roles plays. So are you up for a role play? I hope you are. A lot of people are nervous about that. But consistently, when we do those two-day VIP events and we do role plays in them, as I mentioned, the feedback is, the role plays really taught me a lot, that I don't listen very well, that I don't see buying signals, that I don't know how to handle objections, that I'm nervous and don't know how to get over the nervousness or the rejection. All of those things that the two of us that do the teaching have been through before. Rejection is a good example. Only about 40% of good salespeople are successful in making a sale. 60% of the time, for various reasons, competition, person's not ready, pricing, whatever it is, don't make a sale. So a lot of times they focus on, well, all this rejection. And it's important to, to understand they are not rejecting you. They're reje personally. They're rejecting the offer, the opportunity, the timing, any of those things, that's what they're rejecting. And this is just a next. You learn from those that say no, oftentimes ask why they said no so you can correct it. But there are techniques and top of that list for me is listening. I'm amazed again at how poor listening skills are. So simple example of that. Take your hand, put it up, shake it, okay? Make a fist, now touch it to your chin. Is that your chin? No, that's not your chin. So, <laughs> why did that happen to the vast majority of people? One, because you're focused on the visual. You're not focused on the words and listening. Now, if you're focused on the visual, guess what happens? If you have a prospect on the line, you're going to be distracted by text messages, emails, things that go around you. So one of the keys to good listening, active listening, is to focus 
and it'll eliminate the distractions around you. And you're going to find that that's not as easy as you think it might be. But those are learnable skills. Sales skills are learnable skills. When I learned how to sell, it was in corporate sales a whole lot of years ago. Went through two years of training, a lot of training. Probably most don't go through that kind of training. And then I was assigned to an office where I didn't make a, a joint call by myself for six months. I made joint calls. I learned a ton from people who knew how to sell techniques, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, that's what we're going to do in this sales summit. So, if you are new to sales, if your communications could be could be better, if you're not getting the results that you want to get, it would be my suggestion and wise to attend that sales summit. So how do you do that? You go over to brucewhipple.com, you go under the boot camp and classes, you take a look at the first one there, and there is a outline of what we'll cover on that tomorrow. Now, at the bottom of that, there's a price, but don't use and click that button. Because you've made it this far into this video, I want you to go to brucewhipple.com forward slash special and that'll give you a discount on that so take advantage of that then you'll need to register and to register you will get uh, an email you're going to click on the registration link you're going to put in your name you're going to put in an email address and then you will get a passcode basically that will let you attend. So don't wait until the last minute. Go ahead and do that and get that so you're all ready. And then we will begin this at nine o'clock East Coast time on Friday and we'll go until 5 p.m. There will be a ton of role plays depending upon the number of people. You may or may not be able to participate. One will take role plays on a first come first serve basis. So just remember that. But if you're struggling with progress, if you're struggling with rejection, if you're struggling that you're afraid of cold calls, I would highly recommend that you attend this. And actually, when you think about it, all the work, all the time, all the investment to not take advantage of something like that and learn how to do what I've just talked about, I guess I don't know the reason why you wouldn't do that. So hopefully you will. So go over to brucewhipple.com. Again, go to the boot camp classes click on the business acquisition summit don't use that checkout link use brucewhipple.com forward slash special which will give you a discount and i look hopeful to seeing you tomorrow for that training it'll be a good session